Yay, I can do video blogs. Good day, and welcome to another episode of Jimmy Jaunt. Okay, so I got up this morning, noticed there were no rides planned, so I decided to head out, and I went to Osteen Diner. Nobody was there. So I continued down 415, got over to the racetrack, and took a quick check there to see if anybody was there. And, of course, no motorcycles were there that I recognized. So from that point, I continued on down to... The other end of Sanford, uh, we sometimes meet at the Mobile Gas Station or the Kangaroo out on the uh, west end of Sanford on 46. So I took a little jaunt over there and I got up to the stop sign or stoplight and I looked off to my right and nobody was at the Mobile Station. So I got to the stoplight, made my left turn, and as I was waiting for the signal to change, I looked across the street and nobody at the Kangaroo either. So there was going to be nobody riding with me other than the fellow motorists out on the road. So I continued out on to head west, went on to 46, and started to head out of Sanford. Now I had planned on stopping off at the race track. They have a little uh, training track for the carriage racing, or harness racing, sorry. And I was going to stop off there and check it. And I realized as I was heading out there, there was a uh, state park that I hadn't gone to. So I went ahead and pulled off at the state park, went down the uh, dirt road and got to the main information or parking area and kind of did a little scouting around, check out what it was about. Uh, looks like it had some pretty good uh, hiking trails back there. Uh, there was a gentleman there with his, uh, I guess it was a German Shepherd. It looked like he was in training, either uh, police or search and rescue. Uh, he was commanding the dog, trying to get the dog to sniff out a uh, he had a rag with him or a uh, like a small pillow that had a scent on it and he was pushing it into the forest and let the dog go and try to find it but it looks like a nice little area so I spent a little time took some pictures of the map and decided if I'd want to come back here or not it didn't look like there was any camping so probably not my, one of my first choices but if I get bored and I want to do some hiking this might be a good spot to go so I'll probably do that sometime. So I got done checking that out and head back on the road. Got onto 46, took the turn that I normally take to go up by the horse race area, and as I got up there, there was absolutely nobody out there. This was not going to be a good day for me to get photos of anything that I wanted, but at least I'm out in the sun, and a beautiful day, wasn't too hot, not too cold, uh, pretty enjoyable, so it was well worth it anyways. So I got onto 46 and then took the Thrill Hill Road, so I could uh, have a little bit of a thrill. Uh, went down the uh, hill that I enjoy and came up on the other side. Checked out the uh, orange orchards and uh, had, a, had a pretty decent uh, scent, a little bit of pollination, not too bad, but it had that nice sweet orange scent to it. So that was a good trip. And I uh, got to the intersection and I saw a sheriff go by on a motorcycle. So I uh, waited for the vehicle to clear that was behind him. And once he got around the corner, I pulled out and decided I would see if I could catch up to that sheriff. 
I know, probably not the best idea, but I did end up catching up to him, and here's a little quick uh, sped up motion of that. So we stopped at this light and I said hello to him and basically got a nod and that was it. He wasn't a very friendly officer, but I continued to follow him. And we stopped off at this intersection, and I did uh, lift my visor, looked over at him, and uh, he did at least give me a head nod. <laughs> no words were exchanged, but uh, he must have been busy. So that was about as far as I wanted to follow him. Decided I'd uh, head a little bit north, so at this next intersection I pulled off and uh, found some more, probably less traveled roads. So I got up a little further and I saw another sign for a state park or a uh, little observation area for birding or whatever and thought, you know what, I'll check this one out too. So I got down the road, checked out. This one does have some camping available, so I might actually come back here. Uh, this was on the way towards Mount Dora. Um, not quite as far as Mount Dora, but in that neck of the woods there. And uh, it seemed very nice. so. I think I'm going to call the number and see if they what their arrangements are as far as camping out here. I don't know if I'll do it this summer. It might be too warm, but if I get a, another weekend where it's cool, I might just come out here for a night. So I pulled in, got to the uh, little trail entrance and read the sign and kind of looked at... Uh, what else was available for camping, the number, and uh, just kind of what the situation was here at this location. And then when I pulled away, I decided to go further down the trail, and it got a little squirrely on me here. You'll notice my bike kind of shifted a lot. Right about here. Yep, <laughs> very deep uh, sugar sand. And my bike just sunk. So I had to pull off for a second, put it into lower traction so I could let the wheel spin a bit more and got up on the foot pegs and basically rode through the sand without too much more of an issue. Just it would be slow going, couldn't go too fast. So I got to the other end, and this looks like it would be more interesting of a trail to follow. So I think if I go hiking or bird watching, I'll uh, come to this end and uh, use this trail. It seemed like it was a little bit further, a little well, a little better maintained, not quite so rustic. So I decided to head home, went right back through that uh, crazy sand area. Second time through, handled much better. I was kind of expecting it, plus uh, I was already up on the foot pegs, so it wobbled a little bit, but not enough to basically scare me. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as the first time. So I continued on, got to 42, and uh, wound my way down the road a little ways, and I found a state park, or part of the National Forest, so I went ahead and uh, pulled off the side, took the traction control back off again so I could uh, slip a little bit in the sand if I needed to, and continued on down the road. And not too far down there was a, a group camp spot, so I went to check it out, and unfortunately it's closed for the summer.
So got back on the road, headed up into the forest a little ways, go a little bit further north. Um, got up to a gas station up here that I normally stop at and had some water, had a little more coffee, and there was a big uh, band playing up there somewhere. Now this was Leesburg weekend, so I'm not close enough to Leesburg to hear them, but there was a, another group up here. So I went down the back road, tried to see if I could find out what the event was. No luck, but just continued on and went up through the forest a little bit further, found some windy roads, uh, get me over kind of some back roads to 42 again, um, just to kind of get off the main road. Got back on the main road and started heading north. Had a couple opportunities to pass people. Not much going on, so I started heading across 40 back to the east. And uh, pretty boring. There really wasn't much going on. Not too many other motorcyclists out here. I think everyone was at Leesburg. I continued on until I got to 17 or just prior to and I took a side street. And they must have been having something going on to this Pioneer Museum because there were a lot of people. There were definitely a lot of people parked there, so there must have been some big event going on. Got down into close to the land area. So I found this old building, took some pictures, and uh, it looks like it was an old uh, orange processing plant. I don't know if they processed the orange into orange juice or if they just boxed the oranges up from the orchards and shipped them. But here's some pictures of that. So thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you can catch the other videos that I produce. All right, thank you and have a great day.